Chapter 4. Momentum. Momentum of a moving object is found by multiplying its mass and velocity. It is a vector quantity, therefore it has a magnitude and direction. When objects collide, they exert an equal force, but in opposite directions, which is stated in Newton's third law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The increase in momentum of object B is equal to the decrease in momentum of object A. Momentum before a collision is equal to the momentum after a collision. This applies to explosions as well. An elastic collision is when an object bounces off each other. In a perfect elastic collision, no kinetic energy is transferred to other forms of energy, but in reality, some is transferred to either sound or heat energy. An inelastic collision is when the objects stick together, which is what you'll be asked on a GCSE paper. This is the rule of the conservation of momentum. Conservation of momentum is used to drive space rockets. As a controlled explosion of hot gas from the combustion of fuel has a momentum, the rocket therefore must move in the opposite direction, because the law of conservation of momentum must be applied. We know that force equals mass times acceleration, but it can also be written as mv minus mu over t, which is the same as the change in momentum over time. In cars, there are crumple zones, which increases the time of which a car decelerates, therefore decreasing the force exerted on anything inside the car. Chapter 4 done!